Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house today, having my coffee with all of you because it's raining. It's been raining all night. It's been raining all morning. In fact, it's supposed to rain for the next week, solid. But that's great because I don't have to go out and water my plants, so that is a blessing. The solar, well, it's still giving me the error message. I reconnected everything back up to the charge controller and it's still showing there's battery issues. So yeah, there's something wrong with those batteries. But the good thing is, is the solar panels are still charging whatever is left in them. Um, so I'm able to run the heat mat. I'm able to run the little light that's in there. I'm not running my refrigerator right now just because we're not gonna have any sun today. So, uh, but that's okay. Everything is really uh, cold in there. And I have a couple freezer packs that are frozen. So things are gonna stay cold for a little while so I'm gonna have to figure out something else for this solar um, I'm doing a lot of research a lot of reading um, on what steps I need to take next so I'll figure it out and I'll be just fine until then so since it's raining and it's kind of gross outside well it's not gross it's just muddy I'm gonna do something indoors today I'm going to make a homemade bug repellent <laughs> chickens are going crazy there was one that was just running in circles around this top part so I just got a couple bricks and a little piece of bamboo and made them a little roost what do you think you think they'll go for it look at how pretty they're getting you guys these are gonna be beautiful chickens I know it's kind of dark in here but oh my goodness they're so cute oh brother well I was feeding the chickens one of the baby chickens got out it's rocky I don't know where he went off to. Oh, there he is. Hey, dude. So I don't know, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to catch this dude. So I'm just gonna, they've been in this three nights. This is not the most opportune day, but they may end up going back up in the coop just by the very fact that it's raining. So <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and let him out. Hopefully 
this won't be a bad decision. We're just going to have to wait and see. The other ones are still in there eating their chicken and rice. I don't know. Let's see if I kind of walk around here. Is that chicken will go, go back in. That was easy. Good girl or boy, whoever you are. Rocky? All right. That's it, Rocky. Get yourself a bite to eat. You're safe now. And you guys in. They're doing okay. They're getting big. Look, one of them got up there. Oh, look it. They all look at him like, what are you doing up there, girl? What are you doing up there? Get it. They'll get it. Look at it. look at all that food they spilled out all over the place. I'm just gonna show you a few slides of the different herbs that are included in this bug spray and just take a look at them, read them, and uh, there's some big words in there. I can't pronounce them all, but it'll kind of give you a little bit of idea of what's in this bug spray and why it works. This one in particular about beauty berry is from Wikipedia. The use of calicarpinol has been patented by the United States Department of Agriculture as a mosquito repellent. As for peppermint, this is also from Wikipedia. They're speaking mainly about the oil, but I'm going to be using it because of the scent. It has a scent that bugs absolutely do not like, in particular mosquitoes, so that's why it's going into this mix. Here's a fun fact. The stick bug uses a milky substance it can emit from behind its head that fills the air with the scent of peppermint. The bug uses this to fight off predators as the scent is an unbearable irritant to most insects. And here's another reason why I love peppermint. Biting bugs don't like the scent of peppermint, so you can crush up the leaves and rub it on your skin to ward them off. As a bonus, peppermint also can do double duty as itch relief if you do get bitten. As for lemon balm, it contains high levels of a compound called citronella, which gives it a lemony aroma and flavor that bugs find so unpleasant. Crush the leaves and rub them directly on your skin, especially around the ankles, arms, and other areas most exposed and vulnerable to bug bites. The lemon scent, which repels the bugs, is powerful. What about thyme? Yep, it repels bugs too. And it's mainly due to the scent that it gives off once the leaves are crushed, but not only have I crushed the leaves, but I've chopped them up, so hopefully plenty of that aroma will seep out into the fluid. I'm adding rosemary for the very same reason. It has a scent that bugs just don't like. Mmm, this stuff smells so, so good. Some people put essential oils in it, but I'm not going to need to do that because it just smells, oh, I don't know how to describe it, mix of the peppermint, the rosemary really is coming through. Mm, it smells good enough to drink right now. It still has a couple hours left to steep. In fact, you could let it steep overnight and I think that that would even be better. But I'm going to go ahead and just let it go for six hours today so I can get this done and put the rest of it together. All I have left to do is strain the leaves and then add the witch hazel and the coconut oil Stir it all up, shake it up, and put it in a spray bottle.
hope you liked the recipe. I'm going to try it out tomorrow, so come on back and see how it worked. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.